Hello, and welcome to a presentation on a new business concept which has been formulated based on two current primary consumer trends. The first one is e-commerce. So with the COVID-19 pandemic, people have gotten very used to buying things online and almost all retailers now have an online section. Um, so this has um, given an explosion in e-commerce and what I want to do is try to capitalize on this trend as well as the current trend for guilt-free consumption. Due to global warming and um, people, society as a whole becoming much more environmentally conscious, they are, they are starting to choose the companies that they, they purchase from based on their green initiatives. So, what I have done is created a company called Fitted. Fitted is a company based uh, in the French Alps, which basically was came about as a business solution for when I was living there. I thought I would see people carrying ski equipment around and just and lugging it through the snow and on the ice and falling around and families crying and you know people throwing their toys out the cot just because they're trying to get. That there was late in the evening, they're just trying to get back to their chalet so they can have a good night's sleep before they go skiing. And the inconvenience of walking all the way from your chalet to town, you could see that there was a problem there that could be solved. Also in the, in the Alps, uh, the problem that's currently in the French Alps is, is air pollution. Because there's no wind, the, the mountains are stopping the wind, the pollution in the Alps is getting really really high and when you're in the, when you're up on the mountain you can actually see the smog sitting down in the valley and because of that governments are really taking particularly french governments are taking a big initiative to offer offer tax rebates and and loans to innovative companies with green solutions to try to clean up the the, the alpine air as well as the whole within the whole of france but france is is a particularly attractive place to do this because the government is, seems to be so committed towards um, uh, greening its economy. So, the three problems that I came to, that I want to address are: Are you tired of carrying ski equipment through the snow? Do your feet always hurt in your ski boots? And do you think air pollution is destroying our alpine valley? Fitted is a future business solution for these problems. So. What we will do, we will deliver your ski equipment to your doorstep any day of night, any time of day or night. We use 3D scanning technology to perfectly fit your equipment. We use 3D printing technology to make boots that fit only you. We use autonomous electric delivery vans for a silent, clean solution and the future of mountain ski resorts. How does it work? Well, let's start with the online platform. Right. So the biggest problem with fitting clothing and, and sports equipment currently is that they, they get sent back, you know. Uh, one in three items are sent back to the retailers because they don't fit properly. With this, you can see cell phone technology, te technology companies are starting to find solutions to this problem like the, like the iPhone 12, where they are incorporating 3D scanning technology within the phone. And I believe this will be a worldwide, globally used technology within the next two to three years. So the concept is that you can 3D scan any part of your body and send that, it creates an avatar online, you send that to the retailer and the retailer can then get the exact dimensions and send you correctly fitted clothes so there's no more sending things back when they don't fit. The concept for us is we will have an app and our app will help you create an avatar of any part of your body that needs to be correctly fitted. The most important fitting for skiing is your boots. And this business does focus primarily on boots. We'll get to that in a later section. And your foot avatar, so your foot avatar will give us the exact dimensions of your feet and the correct sizes so you won't feel any pain on the slopes. So if you've ever been skiing, you know that one of the biggest problems is you can get pain in your feet. And it can really ruin your holiday. So we're trying to offer a solution to that. So this is just an example of what the app might look like for scanning your feet. Uh, 
So you take things like toe girth, ball girth, ball width. What we're trying to do is create boots that not only fit in terms of length, but also fit in terms of uh, length and width, but also, also fit in terms of your sole. So knowing things like your instep height, well, we can we, we'll put a sole in there that, that, that fits to your instep height. What this does is even out the pressure points within the boot. And the reason you get pain in your feet is because when you're moving in your boot, there's one particular pressure point, might be on the lower end of your foot, that's getting too much pressure while you're moving in your ski boot, and that's what creates the pain. So if you can disperse the pressure throughout your whole boot, then you get less pain. And that's why this 3D scanning technology would be much better than the traditional sense of walking into a retail store, you try on a boot, and if it fits lengthwise and widthwise, then you're good to go. And usually then you feel the pain the next day, and you have to take the boots back. So the app will then allow you to choose all your ski equipment. Once you've sent your avatar, you get all your ski equipment, um, depending on what you want. So then the next part, the next con part of, of this business is to create 3D printed boots. Now these boots are designed, they are, so they're, they're made, they're one piece. So they're made of one single piece which fits like a sock with no pressure points because that's the other thing is if it's a, if it's a single, single unit going all the way up your legs or also fitted exactly to your calf, it takes, eliminates all pressure points and it allows you to transfer power to your skis without, without the pain in your, in your foot. It fits like a glove. So every, 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 even the slightest movement, you're, 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 you're connected to the skis. If you have a little bit of movement within your, within your boot, the, the lag time to your skis, the transmission time to your skis is there and you don't have that performance. So what we're trying to do is offer comfort and performance through 3D printed boots that fit you like a glove after you've sent your 3D scanned avatar to our company. Okay, then the next issue we want to address is, uh, number one is, is our competitive advantage. So what we want to do is compete with traditional retailers. Now, traditional retailers tend to compete based on, on the location. So most of them are located in the middle of town. And when you're going to rent ski boots or ski equipment, you choose the closest one to you because you don't want to lug them all the way back. So you don't really have brand loyalty. So what we want to do is beat all of the competition and deliver to your doorstep. So within the app, you'll be able to track your, lo you'll be able to track your location. So let's say you're in a ski transfer from the airport. We can track your location, and the equipment can arrive as you arrive at your ski chalet. Or alternatively, you can set a time, and we can deliver it to any, any place that has road access. What we also want to do is make use of electric vehicles. So to give you a, an idea of what an autonomous electric delivery van might, might look like, I use the Renault EZ Pro concept, which I'll show you now. Okay, so that's an idea of how those vans would work. So the, the van would quietly slide, as you get to your chalet, the van quietly slides up the road. You go to the door, you press a touch screen, and the door slides open, and there's a rack full of equipment, and it pushes out the equipment that you've ordered. You take it off the rack, go into your chalet, job done. No need to go anywhere else. No need to lug through the snow. No need to fall on the floor and slide on the ice. You're good to go, ready for your... For your morning skiing the next day because actually a lot of people arrive in their ski resorts late in the evening once you've got your flown in and got your transfer you arrive at around four five six in the evening the last thing you want to do is leave your chalet so where are we going to situate them well the high altitude resorts in, in french alps so these are very wealthy resorts and tend to be um only tend tend to attract a wealthier market the wealthier market 
definitely prioritize convenience over price. And they also, the, the accommodation is quite heterogeneous. It's not located very centrally in town, but usually like its chalet is spread out um, throughout the valley. So this is even better, more of an advantage for us because these people now don't have to leave their chalet, go all the way into town to get their ski equipment and go all the way back. Now we are delivered to your doorstep. So what we want to do is situate centrally in La Plain, um, because Meribal and Val d'Azer are located within a 70 kilometer radius of Le Plain. So we can situate our headquarters in Le Plain and then send out our autonomous vehicles to, to these various resorts and have them moving around within the resorts with the equipment that we need. So this will save us some cost. Um, we won't have to pay for rentals during the summer season. And also the reason we want high altitude, these high altitude resorts is because they've got very advanced snow equipment so they can keep the seasons going for longer and also because they're high altitude they, the seasons last for longer and because this will be a winter season business we need as long we need the business to be as the business period to be as long as possible so that is the business solution of the future called fitted and i think something like this would work in the next five to ten years based on the current trends it could